Okay, dudes, oh, what is up? And if you guys watched the video I done yesterday, you guys saw me unbox uh, the whole set of these uh, random uh, volume eight. Yeah, random volume eight, random volume eight. Yeah, random volume booster eight. Um, yeah, so basically, these were the bays I actually got in there, and the prize bay, I remember this time. Yay! All right, the prize bay was Shelter Regulus right here, and it's, it looks absolutely awesome. So we didn't go into detail in the other video. I literally just unboxed them and looked at them, and that was about it. And uh, this time in this video, we're gonna be looking at it properly, looking at the combos, looking at the drivers, doing some test spins, maybe even some test battles, just to see how well it performs and really just go into detail about how good this uh, Shelter Regulus is because we all know it looks amazing, it does look amazing. So basically, you guys know I've already unboxed it and sticking it for you guys. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go uh, part by part. So we're gonna start with the layer. So you guys saw yesterday uh, that I done the unboxing. You saw what it looked like without the stickers. So here's what it looks like with the stickers. It looks absolutely amazing. I think this blue sapphire color looks absolutely astonishing um astonishing i mean <laughs> um and yes they were trying to pull out the oh i said these were dragon heads yesterday but everyone let me know they're actually lion heads so i want to say a big thank you to that so they're lions like uh leon leon yeah yeah <laughs> count a leon and yeah <laughs> from the metal series but if i open up from this side watch this so they all open up if i do that that's opening up these ones here. So basically, if I open up these ones here, this is all going to all come out. It's a bit weird to tell you on I don't know how this gimmick actually works, because obviously it tells you how the gimmick works, but it's in Japanese. I can't, <laughs> I can't read Japanese, guys. If anyone can translate that for me, please, in the comments below right now. <laughs> or if anyone knows actually how the God gimmick works, uh, you guys can let me know. Um, I don't know how well this is actually going to perform, like in battle, how well it's actually going to do. I don't know. Honestly, to tell you the truth, it looks good, but how useful it's going to be, I don't know. We have to put it on certain combos, maybe, because like there's certain bays that have really good, uh, has has some good abilities that are not good with their stock combos. But once you start putting them on other combos, their god abilities work really well. Just like Blast Genius, the stock combo for Blast Genius is really bad. But once you start messing around with combos. It makes this god ability really, really useful. Just like you guys have been seeing with Team Halloween, um, it's really, really good. Um, so, all right, so basically that's the layer. That's what it looks like. It's really thick, by the way. It's like really, really, really thick, which is awesome. And it feels really heavy. It does feel nice and heavy. But what I will say is, I don't know if you guys can actually see, I'll put, I'll put my finger here. Can you guys see that properly? The teeth are like, non-existent they're really really bad guys to tell you the honest truth they look as bad as uh guardian kerbius they look absolutely terrible can you guys see that can i zoom in a little bit better if you look here they're really bad and when you're clicking in the driver it's like there's no clicks it's absolutely terrible and i'll be honest with you this going against an attacking bait i think this will burst every time to tell you the honest truth, just like uh, Guardian Curbius. Um, all right, so let's go on to the um, the disc. So it does come with five, but the awesome thing about this now, it comes with star frame. This is actually the first time I had a star frame and I love the teal color. This color is so awesome. I absolutely love this color, uh, especially with star. I don't know how well star performs as a frame, but it looks amazing. So I really, really look at that. Let's look at that. It looks so cool, this frame. I'm so happy I actually got this. And you actually get a, a gray black version as well on one of the other ones, on one of the other boosters as well. I'm not too sure which one it was. I think it may be this one here. Yeah, I think it is Quad Quetzalcoatl right there. Um, Cause that's the black one, that's the uh, other star. So actually star comes with this as well. So that's cool. So basically you get two stars in the whole uh, set if you buy the set, which is awesome. So if you haven't got a star frame, you will get it. And then uh, I think the star of the show really is uh, this driver right here, which <laughs> like I said yesterday, it looks like a machine, guys. It's insane. So apparently when it's spinning fast, it goes down. And when it starts to slow down, it goes up. So basically it will be same level as the bay you're facing when you first put it in there. But as the time gradually goes on, 
it will start to raise and it should be less burst resistant. I'm assuming, I don't know. Um, I know if you put this on Blast Genius, it makes Blast Genius go even higher, uh, especially with the God ability working where the layer actually raises as well. So if the layer raises and this raises, you got a very, very, very tall bay, which I don't think will come off balance or burst, which will be insanely cool to see. So I will be doing some testing on that with uh, Blast Genius. Um, but if we just put this all together, so we can actually see what it actually looks like now with it, the whole thing just put together. Um, the good thing about this set as well is you actually get another tower driver with um, Auto Chronos, which is actually orange, which is really, really nice. If you guys saw the unboxing, it looks so nice. Uh, but there you go. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty tall as it is, just like that, to say the honest truth. And uh, that's with it up. So when it's down, it's gonna be like that, normal height. And then when it's that, I don't know, see, see with these, when these things come out, what are these actually meant to do? Are these meant to stop it from like bursting so much? Or does this get, is that like attack mode or? I don't know. All I'm saying is if you put this against a uh, left bay, it's gonna burst so easy. Like look at all these, L2 will be able to, to annihilate this. I'm gonna put this against L2 in a battle for you guys uh, in this video. But I think L2 would literally annihilate this, especially with all the hit points there. And especially how bad the teeth are. Just listen, listen to this. Look at that, look how easy it was. It was just so easy, look at that. No, 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 look at that. It's so bad. It's so bad, guys. It's like literally so bad. Um, but, you know, a lot of people think Guardian Kerbis is not that bad. To tell you the truth, I think the Guardian Kerbis is literally terrible, especially against attack base which is kind of crazy. Um, Cause I swear Garden Kerbis is meant to be a defensive bay. So it's kind of crazy how they made a defense bay really bad with teeth. So I don't know why they done that with Garden Kerbis, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, this one, I know this is meant to be, I think this is the balance, let me see. So you can see what it says here. So yeah, the, uh, it's a balance. I think that's what it is, yeah. I think that's what it is. I think the prize bay is balanced. Is that right guys? So if it says balance here, that's what a prize bay, right? Yeah, Shelter Regulus. Balance. So this is meant to be balanced right here. So it's meant to like be a little bit of good of everything, really. But with teeth like that, no, I don't think so. I think they should have made the teeth a little bit better. What we'll do is, I'll get the stadium out right now. We'll do some test spins, see what it looks like spinning. And then we'll do a couple of test battles and show you what it looks like. And then uh, we'll go from there with what this bay can do. Okay, so we've got the stadium out now. And we're gonna do a couple of test spins first just to see what it's like. So here we go, first one. See what the movement is like. And that, that, that obviously looks like it's not as tacking right there. So it's got a nice movement tower has. So, you know, if anything happens, if let's just say the, the, the layer is really not that good, at least we know we have a decent driver, which is cooler, I suppose. Um, and then it just goes up. So let me just look. So it looks like it's a lot higher now. So the drivers literally look like it's raised there, which is really, really awesome. Uh, I bet if I pick it up, it's gonna burst. Watch this. <laughs> only 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 layers with a really bad teeth that will happen to if you try doing that to uh siege excalibur that won't happen <laughs> siege excalibur's got amazing teeth so i'll do one more test launch and then we'll do some test battles quickly so here we go see what happens there so you can see it moving that is actually kind of a nice that's a nice movement i actually like that movement to tell you the truth, I'm actually looking underneath and it looks like it's still raised. I don't know when the um, the driver is going to go in so it makes it smaller because I'm looking down at the side of it and the driver actually looks raised. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how well that's actually meant to work. All right. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to quickly go get some bays, see which ones we'll put it against. Probably do like a couple different ones, defense, stamina, all that kind of stuff, see how well it performs against them, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll judge the bay then. Okay, so the first bay I decided to put it against is gonna be Tornado Wyvern. Let's put Tornado Wyvern in here first. There we go, the Tornado Wyvern is in. Shelter Regulus is in now, let's see. Here we go, so there's some connections now. Oh, I'm actually looking down now and the parts of the bay actually opened up, which is cool. So yeah, at high speeds, it's actually open. You can see now it's actually gone back in now. Okay, yeah, so at high speeds, the uh, layer comes out. And yeah, 
out spun there. So yeah, so basically when it was spinning fast, these actually did come out, which was pretty awesome. You could actually see it. Um, and when it started to slow down, it went back in again. Let me do one more with Tornado Wiper and just to see if that was a fluke or anything. Here we go, do hard launches. Oh, it comes off, ain't that the worst? <laughs> I hate when that happens, guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. Then we'll put uh, Shelter Regulus in. All right, here we go. We'll see. Well, the good thing, oh, that reminded me there of um, Reboot, how it done that. So it could be a little bit like Reboot. It doesn't seem like it's easy to burst because really Tornado Wyvern will be able to burst it easy. Oh, okay, see, so there you go. Um, next one I put it against, we'll put it against uh, God Valkyrie. I mean, yeah, God Valkyrie next. What I'll do, I'll put Shelter Regulus in first. I think Shelter Regulus is gonna definitely burst this time. Especially, oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna have two launchers ready, so the base on, so we have no more mistakes. <laughs> okay, Shelter Regulus in first. Then God Valkyrie. Let's see if God Valkyrie can burst it. It will be, once Reboot hits in, that's when we'll know if it has, oh, it's not bursting. Reboot didn't really kick in too well there, but it didn't burst. How many clicks has it actually got? Oh, it's got like three clicks. Three clicks it actually got it, but it didn't burst, which is good, okay. Uh, let's do another rematch there with these two and just see what happens this time. Okay, shut a regulus. Then go Valkyrie. Here we go. That's what you want. Want some connections. See how well it can stand up to God Valkyrie with these hits. And you know what? With how bad the teeth are, it's actually not doing that bad. Even though Reboot is not really working too well, but I don't know. Reboot has too many problems. And this is the purple one. This is the one that works good as well. I just don't think Reboot works too well. Um, all right, so only got one click that time. I'm going to put it against, uh, we'll do Storm Spriggan first. So I'm gonna put Storm Spriggan in first. Uh, they're both balance based. So we'll do Storm Spriggan first and then we'll do Shelter Regulus and see what happens. Okay. Storm Spriggan. Shelter Regulus. Let's see. I think, yeah, Tower has a much more better movement than a Reboot sometimes. Oh, you can hear. Oh, it bursts. Storm Spriggan. Okay, nice. So you know what, guys? Initial thoughts on the bay is the teeth were pretty bad, but it's actually not that bad. Well, it's only testing with myself. So the real test is when we'll battle other people like Mini Me or Crazy Daisy or something. Uh, but I'm going to do one last test here, and it's going to be against um, CJ Scalibur. We'll see how well they can do against attack. And let's see from there. Okay, so we're gonna put in Shelter Regulus first. And then we're gonna put in Siege. And let's see how well it can do here. Once it makes a connection, I think it may burst. Oh, come on. Big hits as well. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Oh, right at the end it burst there. But it took the initial hits uh, kinda well, which is kinda awesome. Okay, guys, so. Uh, I'm not going to do no more testing there, um, but what we've seen so far, it's not that bad. But like I said, I don't really like doing bays on my own. It's really, really hard to tell how good a bay is when you do it on your own. I feel like sometimes it's really unfair uh, when you put a first bay in and a second bay in. Uh, the real testing is when two people do it at once and then we can really see what the bay can do. Um, I'm liking the driver. The driver seems really cool so far. So. Um, props to this driver and I'm happy we actually got two as well in this set which is really really cool but um, it's not as bad as I initially thought like straight away you hear the teeth and you just think no this bay is gonna be absolutely bad but um, like I said from the testing what we did did now it doesn't seem too bad but we will have to see what it will do in battles and then we can really decide if it's a good bay or if it's a bad bay but it does look nice and the driver seems like it may have some use. I don't think the driver will come in use in, I don't know actually, it could come use in tournaments. It depends what you put it with. Maybe with Blast Genius, it could count as certain things. Uh, but okay dudes, until then, we'll see you guys in the next episode, dudes.